Hello, people. Today is Saturday, um, January 15th, and um, I want to, th oh, this is What is Phenomenology Part 5, because I want to talk about today, Franz von Brentano. Uh, Br Brentano was not himself a, f a phenomenologist philosopher, he was his writing, the distinction between mental and physical phenomena, was one of the presidents that allowed Husserl to create the modern idea of what phenomenology is. And basically what was in there is he made distinctions between physical and mental phenomena. Mental phenomena being, you know, things we see, um, physical phenomena being the actual object, just like that's a whole paradigm phenomenology has. So, um, basically, mental phenomena. Like, again, I use, again, I use a marker. This is a mental phenomena of a yellow marker. This is not. We are not uh, seeing the ontological being of this. Again, we are seeing the f mental phenomena of the yellow marker. And then the physical phenomena would be the actual ontological being of that marker that is not verified or po possibly verifiable because we don't actually come into contact with the ontological being of anything. We only come into contact with the with the non non ontological fi uh, mental phenomena. So, what 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 Brentano does is he defines both of them, both mental and physical phenomena, and makes the distinction between the two. And <clears throat> he the, he gives a lot of um, arguments, and I'm not going to go into each and every one of them. But I want to I want to discuss the uh, the concept of intentional in existence. So that there is the there is there is intentionality in phenomena. Um, <clears throat> just like there's there's an there's intentional existence here. This is this is the phenomena. Keep in mind, and basically, there is the intention of this phenomena to appear as a rep as a representation of the ontological being of the marker. So there's in, there's intentionality in all our phenomena, and this is basically what um, what allows to come about the modern ideal of uh, phenomenology and just that phenomena have intentions to look that way this is why physical and mental phenomena get confused because like some people might see you know people who are empirically observing things with a natural attitude might observe things such as a yellow marker and think that's a yellow marker and they won't even they, they won't bracket things so this is the bracketing of things because well he's Brentano is further bracketing thing and bracketing everything and going away from the, from the natural from the natural attitude and he is basically if I say basically one more time it's bad um, he's he's really um, making more bracketing clearing up the definition between mental and physical phenomena and and defining physical phenomena as what they really are and making mental phenomena into presentations and feelings and I mean by by presentations he means the act of something being presented it's like if um, if I accidentally get cut on something if I, if, I get, if, if my foot gets cut on something because I'm walking bare feet in, in on the street um, the presentation of the feeling of the glass or whatever is on my foot that is a presentation and the pain of that is the feeling. So we we can we can distinguish those two as feelings. Feelings are uh, presentations are the foundations of feelings. Um, so feelings are kind of a presentation, but they're the foundation. So and then physical phenomena he claims to only be a confusion that we never see them and that we can we can't really get at them. So he basically is further bracketing things. And by introducing the act, the act, uh, the intentional in existence, he's claiming that our phenomena in intend to represent the real physical phenomena. Actually, 
actually the word physical phenomena is a miswording as if we if it's physical and we yet you know, we can't really get at them it's not a phenomena at all because it's 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 what Kant would describe as noumena but um, this is basically what Brentano does in his in his writing the distinction between mental and physical phenomena and this sets the stage for Husserl which I shall discuss but um, I wanted to end the what is phenomenology thing but I'm gonna go into uh, well I'm gonna going to continue this series with Husserl and other people and I'm gonna start a new series about existentialism because I got a uh, comment in the moderator down there if you're on my channel page the moderator um, I got a, a suggestion to involve existentialism now my, my initial plan was to not include existentialism until I fully covered phenomenology but I'm going to include it early and I'm also going to include some uh, ethical theory uh, so yeah I'm gonna do a little bit of that so um, hopefully this clears up what phenomenology is trying to do and um, how it comes about so anyway have a great Saturday